the drop in temps may have you eager to pick the perfect pumpkin. I know I sure had that urge. Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith seems to be settling into that fall feeling. Really killing that fashion there with the flannel, Travis. He's at Seedcap Orchard. How are those squash looking? Hey, Jess, yeah, as we've been saying, it is the 1st of October. Those temperatures are down. I am in my flannel as well as Chief Meteorologist Aaron White, and spooky season has begun. And yes, it is the ideal time to find that perfect pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. Out here at Seacap Orchard, a large number of pumpkins are just ripe for the picking. Now, conditions this year are a bit different from a year ago. Back then, severe and even extreme drought conditions were affecting our area. Now, even though the soil is drying out once again, we had a very wet spring and summer. Now I spoke with Fred Kop Kapoff here at Seacap Orchard about how his pumpkins fared with the abundant moisture. We had a bumper pumpkin crop this year. Um, a lot of rain this spring. I got a window in the middle of May and I got them all planted early. And with all that moisture, they grew great. And you know, it's really dry now which is actually good for pumpkins. Now, with all of these wonderful pumpkins and the bumper crop that CCAP had, your perfect pumpkin is right out here and ripe for the picking. So come on out here, pick out your pumpkin and come say hello to us out at CCAP Orchard. Live in Rochester, meteorologist Travis Clark Smith, KIMT News 3. Now, Travis, is my perfect pumpkin in that bunch, would you say? Uh, yeah, Jess, I think there are uh, quite a few out here that you'd like. We're going to keep looking over the next couple of shows and find that perfect pumpkin just for you. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Travis. And you can catch Travis as well as Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Aaron White out at Seacap Orchard coming up on KIMT News 3 at 6. Starting 